Good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. My name is Elavaris, and welcome back to the Battle for Wesnoth, specifically the Secrets of the Ancients campaign. We have finally arrived at the time that many of you have been waiting for. Over the past just about five months now, we have slowly been making our way through the campaign one about 30 minute episode per week, and we have finally arrived at the final scenario. It's looking like this one is going to be a bit of a banger, not going to lie. We've got the Paladins from the south, we've got the Naga from the east, which are going to be followed by the Saurians in this keep. We have the, the Merfolk from the north, we're going to have the Mages from the west, the Dwarves from the southwest, and the Elves from the southeast. It is all or nothing, and we need to make a stand. So how are we going to approach this scenario? Well, the nice thing is that the Merfolk and the Naga are effectively going to be completely useless as long as we don't fight right next to the water. Because they're going to come out of the water, they're not going to do much damage to skeletons, um, and they're going to be able to take a lot of damage due to their poor melee defense on flat terrain. Now, actually, surprisingly enough, this guy has 50%. I didn't think that was common. I thought they had 30 40%. It must just be the Myrmidon, the, their leader. The Myrmidon. Let's see. Yeah. Flat 40%. Okay. It's not quite as low as I thought it was. Um, still not that great. I think Merfolk are 30%. And I guess they're 40 for some reason. But yeah. So what's the plan going to be? Well, along the top, we shouldn't have to deal with too much pain. Um, mostly because the merfolk have to come a long way and they're definitely going to be on the flat terrain. Like, there's going to be no scenario here where we're fighting them in the water. The naga will mostly be on flat terrain as well. However, there are opportunities for them to get some decent defense. Like, for example, if I fight along the river here to try and help fight the paladins, that could prove a little dangerous. Um, now, the paladins are interesting here. Knights are not really a problem. Uh, they do have their their piercing charge and their blade, and one of the things you have to remember about liches is, while they're still technically skeletons, they do lose that huge uh, bonus to defense that uh, normal skeletons have against blade and pierce. Um, I guess that's just because their bones are uh, more held together by magic now than they were before. I don't know what the lore reason for that is. Honestly, it's probably just a gameplay reason to make them a bit more balanced. Um, because if they retained the same resistances as normal skeletons, they will probably be pretty busted considering they're very strong. Now, it is a shame that Raztaban is still a leader here and has not been leveled up. I kind of assumed that we uh, would have left him uh, behind by now. Split ways for the final scenario, but we're still here. So it's looking like um, I'm going to try to level him here. It'll be a good like XP, uh, HP booster in the middle of the battle, I'm thinking. Now, the Paladins are the most pressing problem. Primarily because their attacks deal arcane damage, at least their sword does. And what this means is that all of our units are very, very susceptible to those very high damage attacks. And as a result, we're going to need some bait. Now, what bait we're going to use is up for debate. I, I'll need to bait with something low, and I'll need to bait with something that has zone of control. And ideally, something that's relatively cheap. 34, 15 gold. Uh, yeah, it's a bit nasty, honestly. I'm gonna fight him at night. We're gonna be peppering him with the Bane Bows. That's gonna be the play. That's how we're gonna nuke these guys down, is the Bane Bows are gonna be nasty. Spectres are gonna be crazy good into the, into the Naga. Basically impossible to kill. Um, just because these the Naga on 1.14, all they have are Naga Warriors and all they have are melee. Uh, in 1.15, they're actually getting um, two new Naga units, some of them having ranged attacks, one of them being a bit more defensive, kind of like the Merma Merman, um, uh, not the Triton, the other, the Hoplite. Uh, so let's see here. I recruited one Spectre. Uh, let's start getting a few villages here. Rastaban can go that way. You can come over this way. 
or Esteban is going to be able to capture that one. So we'll send the healer over here. Capture that one. Uh, okay, so we've got a lot of room to capture stuff. Or to recruit, rather. Now, ghouls. Let's take a look at defenses here. 20% defense to arcane. I think this is going to be our, our line against the, the paladins here. These are going to be our bait units. Now, what else are we going to recruit? Against the paladins, let's actually check their resistances here. Horsemen, typically very, very bad against pierce, um, which they are, 20%. 60% resistance to arcane, 0% to cold. So liches are going to be good against them. Banebows are going to be nasty at night, although remember, banebows only have three attacks as opposed to an ancient lich's five. So while banebows are great, ancient liches are definitely where it's at. Another ancient lich. Let's go. Uh, we're going to recruit another specter. Here we go. We're going to recruit a death knight. We're going to recruit a bane bow. And you are going to go there. There is a lot of villages in this map. So actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, this might not be a bad time to send a bat out to go capture some of that. Uh, yeah, whatever. Let's make sure we move there. Paladins coming north. If they kind of isolate themselves, that'll be good. Okay, he's not recruiting anything. Can he recruit anything? He definitely can. There's no way. He... Yeah, he's got 300 gold, but he's delaying his first turn recruitment. Now, a lot of mages is, is a little bit of a pain. Death Knights will be able to deal with them pretty well. And very quickly, the villages are being snatched up. Now, we have no turn limit here, so there's absolutely no excuse uh, for sloppy play. Um, there's no excuse for me for sloppy play, that is. We have arrived, Taxstrimon. We will fight beside you. They will pay for killing our males. Well met, Fizztars. Now these creatures will certainly fall. Oh, will we? Okay, maybe we're actually not going for that. Oh, they're neutral. I thought they were chaotic. Was that a change? I wonder if that was a change. Okay, I'm going back in here. Bat is on the move. Okay. On the village here. I don't really want the specter to be... So he could actually come up and attack. Ah, that's, I don't really care too much about that. Um, I don't really want the Spectre to hold here because then he'll just be fighting these guys while they're in the water in their safe space, the place they want to be. So we won't do that. A little island there. It's kind of nice. Uh, okay. Liches want to make sure they're not susceptible to attacks here. Definitely going to need some more bait than this. Now, there are no paladins in range, so I can put a death knight up here without too much worry. Okay. Now is the time... No. There we go. Now is the time to recall the rest of our very excellent units. The Bane Bows have got to come out right now. Bane Bow. Bane Bow. Death Knight. Banebow. Banebow. Losing 32 gold a turn, not quite ideal. But alas, is what it is. 
Yep, there's the recruits. Thankfully, he's not recruiting any more paladins. All right, here we are. That's fine. He's going to be finished by the Naga now. Saurian's going in for the recruitment. Going up to capture. Oh, just a normal initiate, eh? It's gonna, it's gonna take the Murpho quite a while to make their way all the way down here. Oh, he's what? He's out already. That's nice. All right, sorry, pal. But that is what the bait is for, is it not? Yes, it is. Okay. I wonder if there's a way to actually kill this guy. We've got the Banebow Brigade up in here. Eight five melee arcane. That's a little better than it used to be. Let's bring Carson back. You I'm going to capture this. Yalta is going to come in here and do some work. Yes, he is. Very nice. Now, we don't want to put anyone there. Because that could be quite dangerous. I want to make sure he can't be attacked by too many people either. So we're going to specter next to him. 17-3 is pretty nasty. five on the chill tempest can we kill the paladin can we kill the paladin two three four five we could i think but we very much risk how many spaces does this guy have to move he's got seven not unit description, terrain description. No, 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 never mind. I did want unit description. So what is this? This is deep water? It is deep water. I think that costs two. Two. Yeah, everything else is one. So he's going one, two. He could go three, four, five, six, seven. So we could move like next to him there. But he doesn't really want to do that. And we can only ever we can only get one lich on him, so I think we're not gonna risk that. A little too risky. See, we put a Banebow there. He's at risk of just getting one shot. These knights are rough, but they're going first. And that is the, our saving grace here, is that the knights are going first. Now the Paladin, while he is doing Arcane, what is the ghost to Arcane? 10%. And it's not magical arcane. It's just arcane damage. So it's not like guaranteed hits here. I think I do want to try and kill one another one of these guys. Very good work there. Now the charge is a bit nasty. So... We're going to screen. I think I'm just going to be offensive here. Very nice. Six to five, oof. Yeah, nope. If he wants to go in the water and attack the bow, I think I'm fine with that. 
he's going to take a lot of damage. He's probably dead. Do I shield with the Spectre? I think we do. I think we do. We shield with the Spectre. That's the play there. That Spectre's up there. Thankfully, his second is recruit round. His next one was delayed, which was really good. You're going to come over here. We're going to need all Bane Bows to this front here. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them. You're going to be in flanking position. I think we're going to recruit another bat to send out. Absolutely going to want a little bit more bait here. And then here we go. Death Knight. Knight Gaunt. Bainbow. Spectre. Shadow about to level. Revenant. Not Revenant. We don't have enough money. Another bait. Alright. See what happens. Attack the ghoul, please. Yes! beautiful and then he doesn't even attack nice and then that guy's going over there wasting time because he's after the bat good work and then we're going into night paladin's dead gonna get we're gonna kill him with the lich i think 28 to 2 <sighs> nasty saurian's also not renowned for their land fighting not very good with range either, so we're going to do very well as long as we're not fighting them in their own territory. However, they are relatively cheap. Thankfully, there's not a lot of merfolk, which is an upside here. This is fine. He can just poison, like, a whole bunch of them. If he doesn't die here, that's ideal. Nice. That's okay. Okay. Holding off the first advance pretty well. Oh. Now we avenge the fallen of Nalga. Look, the dwarves circled around in front of us. That's why getting through Nalga was so easy. Hey, buddy. That's going to be a pain to try and get through. But how much money does he have? 450. He's got a lot. Okay. Hopefully we'll be fine. Okay, healers back in. Looking good. So you've got six movement. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six. You could stand right there, which is fine. Okay. You. 16.5 to here. Beautiful. You cannot be killed by that guy. You're going to 16.5 here. Beautiful. Everyone's hitting very, very nicely right now. Gonna go it that way. You bats are going to lead Paladin on a wild goose chase. I feel like the bats are actually are kind of useless. I shouldn't have recruited them, but I think we're okay. Let's get the Bane Bow that's farthest back in the keep. Go after this guy. Okay. Shadow, maybe? Go for the level here. You can go after this guy. Wait, that's not the shadow. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Gosh dang it. <laughs> uh, whatever. Nice. Look at that big kill right there. 
Slicin and Dyson. That's what we like to see. Spectre can go here. It's 40%, but... Spectre's so well equipped to fight these guys. It's not even funny. Nice job. Wow, that was nice. Okay, so that first wave has been a little wiped out. We have not lost any significant soldiers just yet. Only the bait have been lost, which is perfectly fine by me. And we still have a bit more bait. We got three more units of bait, which is good. Which is good, good, good. Got another turn of night. Shield with the Spectre. He's going to be able to easily take some hits. Let's bring the Night Gaunt over here. Shadow a little bit closer. Looks like the Saurians are on the move. Rastabon, move him down a bit. Bait up here. Spectre in reserve. This paladin's probably going to get to us in the day, which is going to suck a bit. But alas. Let's... Uh, we'll leave him here. We'll just put him in the water. There we go. A little more central to the to where he might need to go. He's going to shoot. Oh, with another turn of night. This is great. Going to wipe out all these guys. Oh, yeah. Keep them coming. Keep them coming, lads. More, more, more. More knights pile up right in the dead of night. And we've got the... We've <laughs> got the night gaunts. This is going to be a slaughter. That was first watch, right? Yes, it was. Nice. Going for this guy. Yes. That kind of sucks a bit. He managed to get into the one freaking patch of swamp that exists here. This is what I wanted. Him coming in there. That's fine. Nine. Very nice. It would be kind of funny if some of these units fought each other, but probably make the scenario too easy. How much more money you got? Okay, he's out. Now it's time for the lords. Thunderguard City. Holy cow. Alright, the Lord is marshalling his forces. Interesting. And are they going to move as one? Some cool AI. Yep, expected. Oh, nice damage. Good job, lad. Oh, this guy's killing it. That's fine. So the Lich army is going to absolutely slap these fools that are marching down, running it down mid. You're in there. You guys can go there, so yeah, it's not great. Yeah, you're going to come up here and help this back capture stuff now. Though I suppose it's not really needed. Okay. Crazy stuff going on over here. So you're going to go in for the Saurian on 50% defense terrain. Very nice. Bait. Let's do it. Beautiful. 15-4. Beautiful hits, lads. Nice! Holy cow, dude. Crazy damage coming in hot right here. Alright, liches, it is time to lay down the pain. Wow. That's pretty nice. Let's go. Let's go. 
Okay, okay, okay. Respectable. Respectable damage in right there. 17. Dead. Okay, he's dead. Six to one. <laughs> Six one, yeah. Not doing a whole lot. How far can this guy go? He can't quite go far enough. So you, where can you go? So you can't, oh, well, you will be able to flank. Yeah, you will be able to flank if we kill this guy. With who, though? With you. Oh, where can you go? Good. There we go. So now you will be able to go here, and you will be able to go here. And get this guy. All right. Oh, okay. Well... Oh, never mind. Maybe we can do it. One, two. Nice. Look at that. Cleaning up. Cleaning house. Eleven four. Don't expect a kill here, but... Now, all of these guys are skirmishers, which is a huge pain. This means they can basically go anywhere and do anything they want. Yeah, I'm not expecting a lot of stuff out of these guys at this point. Just because... The Naga... Are in the water. Which is unfortunate. Let's get some more healing going. Here... Ooh. Could we risk it? Take a little bit of damage, perhaps, and go in? Maybe not. Probably not. You can come over here, get that kill. You, we need to keep there. Let's just do this. Ah, it's okay. Should be okay, anyways. Now, where this guy is going is another question. If he gets too close, we're just going to have Andra Na ready to decimate him. Let's bring bait over there. Splitting our forces a bit. But, let's see. He is plus 15, so he's going to be able to recruit a guy every two turns or so. Ooh, nice. That's what we want. Come on, yeah. Alright. It's fine. It's okay if he doesn't do any damage. Not bad. Muck him. Nice. Six. That's what, That's what we're talking about. Six. Sniper, come on. Muck him up. Oh, okay. He's going in. Poisoned. Very nice. Sniper! Nope, not the sniper. This guy uh, didn't pass. Sharpshooting class. Nice! Now this guy. Sign him up to be a death knight, honestly. Double hits, although it's 40%, so I'm kind of exaggerating a bit, but... Now, the dwarves were at 450, but they... <laughs> just that whole keep, like, destroyed almost 300 of their gold. It's like 270 or something. Yeah, there we go. So, they are not coming along the land. Are they going all the way around here? Interesting. It's kind of cool. They're moving in formation. They only delay their inevitable demise. Oh, yeah, sure. Kind of sucks that it's they. 
but alas. You can go there. You can capture this one. It's really kind of useless to capture these at this point. <laughs> Uh, okay. You cannot go close enough. That's perfectly fine. So how about you come in and get this backstab? There we go. Oh, man. I want to go in with Adrian Na, but... Sixteen percent chance to get close to killing. I should have moved him closer. That was a mistake. Only a three-three there. So I think we're just gonna have to play a bunch of ghoul bait here. There, there, and there. Force him to just come into them. All right. Run us to bond. Run it back. Now the Saurian are chaotic, which means they're gonna be they're not gonna be having a great time over here. I think the Lich army can now start moving a bit. Okay. 10-3. You can do it. You can do it. Yes, you can. You can do this one. No, you can't. I don't really want to put them in the water. I don't want to split my forces too much either. So we're going to leave that guy as he is. And we'll come back for him later. Here is a bit of a fiesta. 12-4. See what he can get done. As long as we just keep our guys at high health, we'll be doing alright. Don't really have to worry about the skirmishing power of the Saurians if your team is almost full health at all times. 7-3. Saurian v. Saurian. Look at that. Level up. Nice. More max HP. Okay, you and go for a 7-4 here, get some health, oh, dang, that guy's basically on the way out, he can't really attack anyone without dying, the Lich Squad is ready to decimate this Paladin no matter who he attacks. This guy, 7-4, 7 21 He could actually kill this guy, and then the Paladin could, like, swoop in and perform some, like, mega epic game-winning kill, which would be kind of disgusting, to be honest. But if we do that, he won't be able to. Because this guy cannot kill him. So, and if this guy dies, they still get zone of controlled, so it's okay. I could try and attempt to kill here, but then this guy's opened up to a ton of damage from these fools over here, so I'm not going to risk that, because he can't really do anything anyway, since he's guaranteeing his death by doing so. You are going to come in here, quick swipe, come in here, quick swipe, come in here, 11-3. Nice. Good job. You're going to stay here, play reserve guard. Ooh, the Saurians could actually gang up on the Saurian and trash him, now that I think about it. Ooh. That's actually... A yikes. 
Oh, they're definitely going to kill him. There's no chance he lives. He's dead. He's completely dead. There's no way he lives. We're going to lose our healer. Oh, boy. That was a mistake. Oh, the skirmisher. Skirmisher, no. He's dead. 100% dead. Zero chance he lives. Dang it. I'm a monkey. Because these guys can swoop around. There's no one I have to block this path. If I block this path, he lives. But, yeah, I have to block both, and I don't have enough units that can move. Ah, oh, dang it. This monkey here. Should have kept the bats around. Alright, goodbye, soothsayer. You served us well. Yep, there you go. That's fine. Really? They're not attacking the Soothsayer. That is shocking. Maybe I, I might eat my words. They're not. If they... They could have totally nuked him out. It looks... It looks like just... Okay, here we go. Okay, never mind. They are. Yeah, he's dead. See ya, buddy. It was a good run. There he goes. Yeah, never mind. I was right. 100% dead. Ah, frick. Mistakes, mistakes, mistakes. These guys are just slowly making their way around. Oh, come on. Hit. You need to heal. Oh, my word. He was on 40%. No! Oh! Come on, man. He hit nothing. He hit once. Oh, chaos on the lines. These guys, these clowns get 60% in forest. Ridiculous. For sake. Two, three. There we go. Payback's coming in. Retribution is at hand. And these freaking fools. Okay, come in here. 9, 18, 27. Avenge the Saurian. Death to Saurians. Good job. Good job. Absolutely trash these fools. Who's getting this kill? You can absolutely not. It's gonna have to be a Lich or a Bane Bow. You're gonna just sit here and try and kill this guy. Fifteen-three. Come on, you can do it, buddy. Ah, yeah. There we go. Okay. So who's coming over here now? It's going to just have to be one of these liches. Probably uh, Carson. Okay. Open three. Yep. 
you're not going to be able... Well, actually, it's not true. Where can you go? You're definitely going after this guy. You're going after this guy. Good work. Who's going on? Okay, so this guy's got 18. He needs to be hit twice to die. Okay. Alright. Avenge your fellow Spectre. There we go. Death in the books for him. Death in the books for you. You're going to come in and maybe finish this guy. Maybe this guy can. Uh, okay, that's not looking that likely. Don't really want to sacrifice. Actually, maybe it is looking likely if we go next to our leadership. Ghouls are just going to be dead now as we got no healer anymore. Sad days, dude. What do we got here? Okay, 9 4. Nice. Cut them all down. He's going to go for the ghoul. Suicide charge. Yep. Well, every Saurian is going to pay for that kill. Severely. 40% defense, come on! Alright, he hit once. Alright. What's the status table looking like? It's not status table, I care about statistics. Killed 34. I've lost 5. 3 goals, Saurian, Soothsayer, and a Spectre. Ah, oh, man, really sucks to lose the Saurian. See ya, pal. So I forget to I forgot to move the bats. Who cares? I think the bat could swoop in and kill that guy. Oh, okay, he's not gonna go for the ghoul. Oh, just gonna get the level up. Okay. They might try and go these two guys on him. Dwarven lords are gonna about get here. Or they're going to get here at night, which is nice. Yep, here they go. They can't kill. Oh, no, they can't. Okay. Can a bat... Oh, bat can't quite swoop in. Wasn't close enough. Lich. Not having a healer makes this significantly harder. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. Such a stupid mistake. He levels. Ugh, oh, such a stupid mistake. Okay, how do we do this now? So, you're going to come into a 9-4. See how much damage you can get. Rastaban's going to finish. Good enough. Rastaban, do the honors. Very nice. Okay, now... You're at 1 HP. You, I mean, could attempt if you wanted to, really, but probably not a good reason to do that. Mm. 
Okay. Let's see. You need to heal. You need to heal. We're going to try and sit him here. He's going to get this kill. Okay. You are going to come in here. Try and get that kill. Uh, almost. We're going to try and leave that guy there if we can. Lich into the water. Not quite. How do you do? Okay. Bring the more healthy one over to finish. Lich over to here. You're going here to heal. You are just going to stay there. To fall back a little bit. You got that. There we go. We've cleaned out all of the Naga, effectively, basically all of the Saurians. We're going to need to absorb... Ooh, I think actually we just... Do we sweep east? Into here we could try. No, we don't sweep east yet. We got to hold for the Dwarvish Lords to... Because if we sweep east, we'll waste the entire night. We'll sweep east when the night's done. And that way we're kind of just avoiding more of the Dwarves. Plus 21. He's going to recruit one more unit next turn. Dwarves are out of money. Yeah, so the reason I lost my healer there uh, was to make this scenario more entertaining for you guys, actually. You know, got, got to have some challenge. Maybe this knight will just swoop in and go for the kill here. Yeah, we'll just block it off. There we go. You can go in for that bait kill. You're going to sit there. You're going to come over to here. Actually, no, you're not. You're going to stay here. You're going to heal. You can't heal. You're at full health. Never mind. Kind of want to move the specter there. I think I'm just going to leave him where he is. Okay. Yep. Oh, I was going to say, okay, what is he doing? Coming out here at 1 HP? I mean, you can. Okay, I expected that. Perfect, Dwarves is going to get to us at dusk. That's exactly what we want. At least the two front-ranked Dwarvish Lords. Merfolk making their way downtown. Yep, he can do nothing. Okay. Not going in for any assassin assassinations there. Fifteen three. It's quite the amount, quite the damage they could do. If they would be in range for said damage, which they will not be. Because they'll be dead. Now you are going to get killed. <sighs> oh well. I was going to say by Raz to Bond. Clearly that's not happening. Yeah. 
One more? No. You can get killed by Rastabon. Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. You're going to come over here and swipe one hit. Boom. KO, you're going to play point guard. Got to be careful. Don't want to die in a stupid fashion. You're going to come over here and do a 10-5. You're going to go here. You're going to go... Actually, hold on. You're going to go here. 14-3. And if you don't kill... Never mind, you do. You are going to go heal there now. You're going to come in here. 6-3 whale. Eight three battle axe. I do want to kill this guy, but not that badly. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Get the liches ready to swoop in here. I'm gonna heal. They've got quite high resistance to pierce, if I recall. Thirty percent. Yes, they do. You're going to come over here. Thankfully, all they have is one ranged attack. And it's night. Rather, it's going to be night. I'm just going to let you heal. You're healing over there. Bats are doing what? You're going up here. Oh. Hey, bud. He's, he's, he's coming. He's like, screw you guys. I'm, you, you guys hiding in your keeps. I'm freaking charging. You know, this paladin, he doesn't know what's up. This myrmidon, coward. I am moving. Yep, there we go. Classic. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Goodbye, Dwarvish Lords. Time to die. The bat's going to be able to make a run for it. Just caused the distraction. Now he's good. I wonder when the mage is going to arrive. That's the real, the real question now. How much money do the merfolk have? 39k. They're not going to be able to recruit much more when they get here. Although their forces will probably collide with us in the day. Which is a little unfortunate, but should be fine. Okay. So, let's analyze the situation. You are just going to get popped by someone here. You? You? Yeah. Nice. All right. Liches. Take your marks. Nice. Twelve three. Yeah, you can do it. I believe. go you're back over there now congratulations you get to heal again oh the elves also haven't come either i've got to put that hmm 
Yeah, we'll play it slow. We'll let we'll let him keep coming with the knights. We're gonna we're gonna sweep east, kill the merman, kill these two leaders. He's coming. He'll get to us eventually. Bats are chilling. He's actually gonna level, so we don't even need to worry about healing him. That's gonna be a big source of healing now. I wonder if I can, like, come in here and do, like, a crazy wombo or just trash these clowns before they even know what hit them. That would be kind of cool. How much do you do, though? 10-4? Yeah, you could actually just straight up kill Raz the Bon. So, gotta be careful about that. You're gonna keep healing. You are gonna do what? You're gonna come back this way. You can stay healing there. Yep, ambushed. Hey, pal. Oh, if he'd hit twice there, that would have been nasty. Oh, he's coming back. Okay, maybe we're not doing a lightning fast strike here. Merfolk are coming in hot. Oh, he can recruit too, can he? Look at that. Alright, pull him back. Never mind. Calling it off. Calling the offensive off. Not happening. You cannot get in range, so that's very nice. 20 to 1 Thunderstick. Not really what we want to see, to be honest. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of melee damage dealers out, out this way. You, on the other hand, come trash this fool. Very nice. You're going to come back now. You are fully healed and are ready to come back as well. You can't go very far, which is fine. Two. Three. You can actually maybe take a kill on a Thunder Guard. Might be a little risky, but uh, I think you'll be able to do it. Ten four. He could hit that, in theory. Come this way. Actually, maybe not. Might not need you over there. What are the bats doing? Bat, go capture that. You bat, come capture this one. Mr. Bond's coming for a little healing. here over here yeah you can come this way too whatever so situation over here not looking phenomenal All right miss dang that's nah, okay so what's going on here Lich kill, coming in hot. You can't go. You can't even get close. 11-4. Big damage. Big damage. One more. Okay, he's almost guaranteed to get this kill here. 
which is a level up, back at full health. That's how we're going to heal. We're just going to level up our guys. You're coming into here to heal. You're actually going to heal up that final 6 HP. Got to stay on top of our health bars here. No slacking off. I think we actually go for this. Oh, he's just level 1. It's not really necessary. It's fine, though. Dwarves are getting split. Not looking great. We're a little split. We're going to be ready to fend off the merfolk. No, stop doing damage. I don't have a healer, okay? Don't like this. Yep, you come right there. That's perfectly fine. You come there and just stay there. Yeah, don't even bother attacking. Now she's going to be a little nasty. Don't have any bait left, sadly. We're going to have to lure them onto the land. Yep. The enemy is already poised to attack. They must have anticipated our arrival. No rest, my friends. We go to work immediately. They just keep coming. Has nobody even considered what we offer? She's just straight mages. Yep. One ninety. Okay, she doesn't have a lot of mage. She doesn't have a lot of money. <laughs> That's okay. All right, time to go to work. Beautiful. Eight to three ranged axe. Okay. You're going to come here and heal. You're going to do a 12-5 here. You're getting close to leveling, so we'll save you. Don't need to get the kill. How about you come and get the kill? Ooh. You guys can't move far enough, so how about... Eesh. Dang. Kind of figured we'd kill there. I think. It's only 17 2. Gonna get the kill. Uh, never mind. 30% missed twice. It happens. Alright. We'll have one guy that's low, but that's okay. All right, time to make a bit of a retreat here. How far can you go? Not far enough. How far can you go? That's fine. Swoop in this way. I'm just gonna pull back almost completely here. Now this guy's fine. He he only has a spear attack. It's like, who cares? Friggin' spears. Don't really matter. Actually, what you're gonna do is you're gonna block off the swamp. Because then the Saurian can't sit in the swamp. He'll have to sit on the dry land. You're up there. Once we weather the Merman Assault, we'll be looking pretty good. Because it's finally coming in the, the Elves at last. Where the elves are going to be the final ones. Perhaps actually I'll just do this. Yeah, it's fine. That works. Restabon's going to keep healing. Majority of our force is at very, very high hit point counts. Which is good. And the dwarves are all dead. I think we're looking okay.
No, though now that I meant, you know, now that I had said that. Oh, he's not even going to attack now. That's good. Oh, level one mage. Okay. Gonna need a lot of death knights to kill these fools in the middle of the night. Oh, baby. Yeah, that's some mages. They're out of money already. Ooh. It's gonna be day, sadly, so we're not gonna be able to kill these guys. There's the elves. Never again will these monsters use the spirits of our ancestors against us. We will burn them down. The whole world is against us. How much money do they have? 320. Okay. The armies march forth against the throngs of dead. You're there. Right, time to just retreat a bit. Now these guys, actually, now that I mention it, can we just, like, swoop in here and decimate? I think we should be able to kill these guys. 11-4 kind of sucks. Not 19-2. <laughs> Don't like that. Yeah, we can actually only get on them with one Death Knight, so I think the answer is... Maybe no? Probably no. We gotta get them on land. 19-2. Eesh. That is not fun. Not fun at all. You're gonna go on there. You're gonna go there, get a little bit of healing. You are just gonna kill him. Full retreat. Full retreat. Ooh. Maybe we can't go full retreat. No, we can't. We can't quite go full retreat. And the reason is because she could catch up to him and she'll just decimate him. Effectively one-shot him. I know you can do it, buddy. Come on, you two. Trounce him. One hit. There we go. Now we're talking. Ooh, you guys can hardly move. That's good. That means, actually, I think we can swoop in here and go for some kills. We gotta be careful, though. These two are, are I think they're guaranteed to kill one of our units here. We're definitely losing a high-tier unit. you should have gone in with another guy first he's unlikely to kill it's okay nine four finish the job you can finish it right right no he cannot apparently Bat Distraction Force. The Naga will have no choice but to go after the bat. Where are you healing? Nowhere. You don't got anywhere to heal. Sad days. Well, we just got him. Got three liches ready to kill him. Four liches, actually. 
I think we'll move you closer this way. So we'll have the... Th we got... Yeah, we got four, <laughs> four liches. We don't need that many. You're coming back this way. We'll have three. Actually, no, no, no. We can't do that. Because you need to be... Ready to get in on him. When he gets close enough. We're kind of fighting through the day, but kind of retreating, so... Okay, yeah, he's coming in here. Oh, sad. Kind of saw that coming. Question is, who else are they going to kill? So the merfolk are definitely killing probably uh, th that bowman. Losing him kind of sucks. Because he's going to... He's really good. Oh, boy. Yep. <sighs> Frick's sake. They gotta kill him. Wait, what? I thought... Oh, no. Well, uh, there we are. Uh, some sloppy mistakes. Getting the soothsayer killed right at the start. This is definitely a rerun. I'll probably just upload the entire thing tomorrow. You guys can see a defeat here, which should have been an easy victory. Losing the Susa early was like a, just a complete stupid mistake. So, yeah, here we are. Sometimes this is how things shake down. So, yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. We're going to try to run it back. Next week, I'm going to keep the episodes longer until we finish this campaign so that it's not like three weeks for this final thing. We're going to run it back next week, start from the beginning, not lose the Suse right away, and yeah, go for it. So yeah, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Cheers, guys.